Right, welcome to Scanning TV on YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Blockstars team, Ghana Block Queens, Blockstars players, and some few other updates we need to know. In this one, we will talk about the next game for Ghana. It is going to happen tomorrow, exactly 6.24 a.m. Yes, today is 12th of July. Tomorrow, 13th of July, in the morning, Ghana Black Queens are going to play and we will check it out. The coach, Nora Hopeless, she has spoken together with the final training session. We will check out some few videos coming in from Japan. In this update, we will also talk about the Black Stars captain, Andre Dede Rami Morganayu. Today, he spoke at the University of Ghana, one with the horse on his debut for the Black Stars team or how he was called up to join the Black Stars team at the age of 18. The pressure on him and all those details. We will check it out from the captain of the Black Stars. We also talk about one under 20 boy who sadly passed away and yesterday getting the report was a really sad one. We also speak a little about that in this update then talk about one Ghanaian player who has not been unveiled in the EPL from Brighton and Hove Albion together with some few other updates that we will talk about in this one. You know how we do it anytime you join us take your time and like the video for me after liking if you are new subscribe to this channel put us on post notification so the entire drop a latest update you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy leave a thought and comment in the comment box after watching the video share the link for others to also come here and enjoy the latest on this channel also do well and give shout out to those who commented under the last video on this channel so just stick and stay for your shout out now no time to waste let me talk about the next game for ghana yes today you have to sleep early myself i'll try and sleep early because tomorrow early morning 6 24 a.m we are going to have the japan national team the women's side um facing the ghana national team the women's side as well so it is going to be a tough game and Ghanaians, we cannot actually miss this one japan versus ghana the confirmation is 6 20 4 a.m. 6:24 a.m. The Japan time or local time over there is going to be 3:24 p.m. So let's all try and catch up. Yes, as I've already brought you an update, the match according to the Ghana Football Association, they are going to stream it on the Ghana Football app. Ghana Football app. So if you have not downloaded it, go to Play Store or App Store and download the app. I've been saying that the app. I don't really think that it is working perfectly, but let's see. Who knows? Maybe tomorrow it is going to work perfectly. And I also believe that eventually they might end up streaming the match on either youtube for us or facebook for us to also enjoy the game so tomorrow 6 24 a.m let's try and get the match as well after that i also bring you the highlight on uskani tv plus so if you have not subscribed after watching the video subscribe to uskani tv plus on youtube so that you also enjoy it and also on uskani tv here i also try and bring you some updates coming in from this particular match so that is it and we understand that it is actually going to be msnad cup 2024 so it means that there's going to be a trophy on it in as much as the two um you know countries are using it to prepare for themselves japan is going to the olympic games so they have to prepare for that ghana we are also going to play in the wafcon so we also have to prepare and at the kerry gogo stadium in japan kanazawa that is where the match will happen tomorrow so let's check out today ghana's coach nor hopeless she spoke and um the girls also after speaking they also had their final training session at the kanazawa koko Kerry stadium that is where the match is going to happen she said that yes she believes that ghana even though it's going to be a tough game but we are going there to deliver for the nation so let's check out some few things coming in from their final training session after that we have some more that we'll talk about in this update <laughs> Oh! 
All right, so that is it coming in from Ishikawa in Kanazawa, Google Kerry Stadium, where the match is going to happen. So they had their final training session and everything is going on well for the Ghana Black Queens. Now, let me move on and talk a little bit about Ghana Black Stars ringer or a forward who now plays for Brighton and Hove Albion. His name is Ibrahim Osman. During the season, last season, that is when and Brighton, they completed the move for this particular forward to come and play for them. But he was still on loan at um, FC Nordland, where they actually signed him from for him to play until the end of the season. Now, the season has ended and the new season is about to begin. So the player has to be officially unveiled as a new player for Brighton and Hove Albion. And today, Brighton posted him and this was the caption they gave to um, this particular post. He is here. Ibrahim Osman has arrived at Albion. And that is it also for him. So next season, we are going to get two Ghanaian players at Brighton. Tarek Nilamte and Ibrahim Osman. And they are going to do the works. Tarek Nilamte will be playing at the right back. Or possibly or sometimes as a left back. Then we also get um, Ibrahim Osman who will also be operating possibly from the left wing, right wing or play as an Amanai. For him, he can actually play across all the front three. So that is it also for Ibrahim Osman. A very fantastic player. Last season, he did so well for FC Nordland. And we hope that this season he will continue it in the EPL. So congratulations going out to Ibrahim Osman. Now, um, before I come to the sad news and some few other ones, let's talk about the Black Stars captain. Yes, today he was at the University of Ghana to speak on sports psychology. Yes, and speaking on sports psychology, um, there was a point that he was speaking about 2008 Cannes, that is um, Cannes 2008, where he has to join the Black Stars team at the age of 18 years. According to him, the pressure was not easy because your father, Abedi Ayupele, has played the Black Stars and played it well. So you, 18 year old, joining the Black Stars team at that time, the pressure was not easy, but he has to get some few players who will help him out and um, you know for him to actually succeed in the black stars team and eventually to become the captain of the black stars he said a lot in that one but let's take about two minutes of what andrea has to say here after that i'll bring you the extensive video on uskani tv plus so just take and stay with us i'll also bring the link in the comment box when i upload that extended video of what andrea has to say at the university of ghana sports stadium today but let's enjoy this one after that we'll talk more human being so before whatever works mentally physically you have to be able to deal with the human. So going to this um, tournament, yes, I was 18. I came into the Black Stars for about three, four games before the tournament when I was 17. And then um, this huge tournament was in, in Accra, in Ghana, sorry, where we were the favorites and there was no discussion. We had to win. Why is it I don't um, know who you are dealing with for any psychologist or any person who is going to work this? Because I'm coming into a national team where I'm the son of Ghana's best player ever. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you are coming in. Those who have seen you play maybe just before, they saw you play Champions League, they saw you play everything, but whether you like it or not, they all want to accept it, and some want to accept it. So it comes with different ideas, different perspectives, different views from all over the country. And you have to be able to have the right people around you to tell you the right things at the right moment. If not, you, can, you cannot be there alone and manage that kind of pressure. Impossible. Impossible. That's why I said you need to know the people around you. Fix your personal goal and go towards it. So what I would say is that get to know the person that are going to help mentally, psychologically, physically, because all goes together. Yeah. You know, I think uh, look, I think you agree with me. Yes, I do. All goes together. Yes. One doesn't make a balance the other side. So I believe through all my experience and through what I went through at this, at this period, it was a very tough moment. Very great. Very, very, very challenging. So, so what
Yes, so that is it coming in from Andre Dede Rami Morgan. Are you a great one? I'm from the captain, and I think, um, as I said, I'll bring the extended video on the Scanny TV Plus and bring you the link for you to check out what he has to say in there. Now, yesterday we received a sad news from one defensive midfielder or um, one player who can also play as a central defensive midfielder. His name is Inusa Farihan. Inusa Farihan, this youngster was part of Ghana's under-20 team in the um, you know, African Games 2023, where Ghana eventually went there and won the trophy. This player was part of the squad. But unfortunately, the player he passed a day before yesterday. According to multiple reports we have received, the player was returning from training and unfortunately, Moto actually crashed him. Or we will say he had a Moto accident, you know, and um, the player could not survive. He is a fantastic player. I'll be sharing some of his videos on the screens for you to check it out for yourself. I don't know what is actually going on in Ghana football. I've already brought you some series of death that we have received this particular year. Even from the end of last year through to this year, um, the likes of talking about William Esu. We also had another striker um, who used to play for Legon City. I've brought you all those updates and unfortunately yesterday inusa farihan a young star who is just 19 years of age he was born in 2005 he has actually passed away a very stalwart um, central defensive method who can also play as a dm and um well well we just have to say our thoughts and prayers will be with the family of inusa farihan i even understand that the player actually went on trials at partisan belgrade and they were expecting a result from there possibly he could have moved from ghana here to go and play for them at the moment he was playing for vim sporting club vim sporting club that is where inusa Farihan was playing for and this particular sad incident happened to him. So another sad news for Ghana football and we just have to be praying for these players. We don't know what is going on because a player who has yet gone for trials at Partizan Belgrade and who was just waiting for what could have actually come of it um, has sadly passed away. All his dreams has been cut short because of this particular sad accident that he had. So Inusa Farihan, may your soul rest in perfect peace so guys this has only a few updates that i have for you in this one what are your thoughts let me know it's in the comment box now um before i take leave of you let me give some few shout outs but before i give you the shout out let me say a very big and fantastic happy birthday going out to my brother from another mother he is a fantastic guy baba adams baba adams yes he is the ceo the founder of baba adam media b sports tv and some other big platforms here. Yeah, so if you check out B Sports TV on YouTube here, Babada Media on YouTube, um, you can also check out Babada Media on TikTok, Facebook, everywhere. Yes, Babada, see you himself. Today is your birthday. So happy, happy birthday going out to you. Enjoy your day to the fullest. I know today you are going to enjoy, even though you didn't invite me for any party though. But you know, enjoy yourself, brother. I appreciate you so much for everything that you have been doing together since we met. Yes, yeah, so Babada, happy, happy birthday going out to you and enjoy your day to the fullest this is coming from myself and Oskani tv um you know family in here so yeah shout out going out to Ahmed Tijani. thank you for being here i appreciate you so much i also have inketia ns thank you for being here um next one is um yusa yusa your full name okay let me move on prince are here you're also here thank you i appreciate you mr body is here jason grant ps kojo forsen thank you for being here um, Amali Lord, you also commented under the last video. Barak says 365. Inketia NST is here. Baba Ojaki is here. Richard Ewa, thank you. I appreciate you. Ikis 233. You are here. Gideon Akagbo is here. Jumo Samson, I appreciate you so much. Mr. Kwame Edujinfi, my boss from the States, thank you. Black Lion is here. Stefan DK is also here. Ositek, you are also here. Um, then I have Dedua Kosi. Okay. Or Dadu Akosi, thank you for being here. If I didn't get the name wrong, well. um, then I have who again, who again, who again. Okay, let me move on. Dogmore House TV, thank you for being here. Samson Kudaho, you also on this channel. Henry Hayford, um, Archibald, you are here. John, uh, okay, okay, Johannes, yes, Johannes Okran, thank you for being here. And Azuma Obed is also on this channel. So, these are all the comments I have. Under the last video, as of the time I'm recording this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Don't forget to always like the video for me, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.